an update on Ethereum. This is a 60 minute chart, uh, each kind of representing an hour here. I added another uh, price support trend line here. And uh, here we go, looks like we broke down, uh, put in the uh, falling three method pattern, cracked this uh, first uh, primary trend line here, and uh, we're back testing this uh, trend line right now, which would spell for an objective entry short, uh, an aggressive objective entry short as well. And uh, you know, you could take a shot here back test of this uh, trend line at the moment down to uh, the secondary trend line for 1.6 percent drop down to uh, the 3398 q 56 price support from off the daily chart that i have here which will coincide with the 200 hour moving average as well down to uh, a crack below to my last trend line for a 4.3 percent drop and if we can crack that down to that 32 32.64.7 for a 6.4% drop down to 31.2783 for a 10.5% drop. And, uh, you know, a um, green balance above this primary trend line, and you can start to get stopped out. Again, this is very aggressive. Looks like we potentially have uh, recovered the 50 day moving average somewhat, but again, this could be a back test and a rejection off a bull trap. And uh, again, if you recover this on a solid close above, you can recover the trend line, then it's time to get stopped out. It's easy as that. That's the risk above versus uh, a lot more downside to come if we can get it. Here we go. We're going to zoom out on the uh, four hour uh, time frame here. And we're in a rise and falling wedge with negative divergences that have continued to construct on all three indicators in the near term. The potential crossover in the MACD as well and the retest of that zero line for the oscillator in MACD would uh, prove otherwise and coincide with the break of that 339868. If we could break below that, that's gonna. I'm not too crazy about this uh, rising wedge pattern. Not enough uh, validation for this primary trend line off the four hours time frame, but still, I do. Uh, I do suspect uh, some tra many traders are still looking at these key levels to be for a solid break below. And there's nothing really to update on the daily here on the daily time frame. Same thing. Looks like we sort of briefly broke that uh, primary trend line, regained it, and we sort of back tested up against it a few times. And again, we'll see if um, we can hit any of these targets. Uh, the risk versus reward ratio is there for uh, the bearish case scenario with huge divergences that, again, have constructed on all three indicators here uh, on the hourly time frame as well. And uh, something's got to break or give. And uh, again, provides uh, a great risk reward ratio.